Mucinex is used to temporarily relieve coughs caused by the common cold, bronchitis, and other breathing illnesses. It is not typically used for ongoing cough from smoking or long-term breathing problems unless directed by a doctor. The active ingredient, guaifenesin, works as an expectorant to thin and loosen mucus in the airways, clearing congestion and making breathing easier. If you are considering using Mucinex, it's important to carefully read the package instructions to ensure it is the right product for you. This medication is not recommended for children under 12 years old unless specifically directed by a doctor, and for children under 6 years old, cough and cold products have not been shown to be safe or effective. It's important to note that Mucinex does not cure or shorten the length of the common cold. To decrease the risk of side effects, it's essential to follow all dosage directions carefully. Avoid giving other cough and cold medications that contain the same or similar ingredients, and consult with a doctor or pharmacist for other ways to relieve cough and cold symptoms, such as staying hydrated, using a humidifier, or using saline nose drops or spray. When taking Mucinex, it's important to follow the directions from your doctor or the product package. You can take it with or without food, every 12 hours, with a full glass of water. The dosage will depend on your age, medical condition, and how you respond to the treatment. Make sure not to take more than 2,400 mg in 24 hours. It's important to swallow the tablets whole, without crushing or chewing them, as this can release all of the drug at once and increase the risk of side effects. Drinking plenty of fluids while taking Mucinex can help to break up mucus and clear congestion. If your condition returns, or if you experience a headache that doesn't go away, fever, severe sore throat, rash, or if your symptoms last or get worse after 7 days, it's important to contact your doctor. These could be signs of a serious medical problem, and it's important to seek medical help right away if you think you may have a serious medical issue. If you experience nausea or vomiting while taking Mucinex, make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to note that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. While serious allergic reactions to Mucinex are rare, seek immediate medical attention if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Remember, this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so consult your healthcare professional if you notice any other effects. As for the best time to take Mucinex, it is typically recommended to take it with a full glass of water and plenty of fluids to help loosen mucus. Be sure to follow the recommended daily dosage and consult your doctor or pharmacist with any concerns. Before taking Mucinex, make sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies or if you are allergic to guaifenesin. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. It's important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have breathing problems, cough with blood or large amounts of mucus, or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. It's also important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use before having surgery. During pregnancy, Mucinex should only be used when clearly needed, and it's unknown if guaifenesin passes into breast milk, so make sure to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. As always, it's best to talk to your healthcare provider for more information about Mucinex. When taking Mucinex, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. This means that it could change how your other medications work, or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. This includes prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. Don't start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Mucinex contains guaifenesin, which can be found in both prescription and non-prescription products. It's important to check the labels of all your medications to make sure you're not taking more than one product containing guaifenesin. It's also worth noting that this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, such as urine levels of certain acids, which could potentially cause false test results. It's important to make sure that lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you're using this drug. If someone has taken too much Mucinex and is experiencing severe symptoms such as fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical attention. In the US, you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. For Canadian residents, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center. It's crucial to act quickly in these situations to ensure the individual receives the necessary medical care.
If your doctor has prescribed Mucinex for you, it's important not to share this medication with others. Make sure to attend all your medical and lab appointments as recommended. Mucinex is used to help relieve chest congestion and make coughs more productive. It is usually taken with a full glass of water and can be taken with or without food. It's important to follow the dosage instructions provided by your doctor or pharmacist. Remember to take Mucinex at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. If you forget to take a dose of Mucinex, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store Mucinex at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important to keep it out of the bathroom and out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of any leftover or expired medication, don't just flush it down the toilet or pour it into the drain. Instead, you should properly dispose of it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company to find out the best way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.